by Juvenile. Hello everyone and welcome back to Scooping Poop with Vivian. This here is Honeybee and this is my Juvenile Leopard Gecko. This is my juvenile crested gecko, and their name is Honeybee. I'm not exactly sure about the sex yet because they're too young to tell, but yeah. So they have grown a lot since I've gotten them, but they're still too small to go into a full-size enclosure. So today I will be setting up their small enclosure. Okay, so this right here is the Exoterra 12x12x18 12 by 12 by small enclosure, and it's the perfect size for a juvenile crested gecko. So as you can see, these doors open up right like this and it's really nice to have front opening doors because this way you can get direct access instead of having to go in from the top when setting up my enclosure for substrate i always like to use paper towel when they are young because the breeder I actually got them from recommended this because that way there's no chance of impaction now the only bad thing about paper towel as substrate is that it doesn't always keep in humidity as well as say eco earth but as long as you're spraying down your gecko tank regularly you should be okay and so the next step typically for me involves adding decorations. Now I like to start with the decorations that are going to be going on the bottom of the enclosure. So the first thing I'm going to do, this is actually a like candle holder. You're supposed to put a candle in here and put wax on top so it melts and creates aroma. I actually got this from a dollar store and I thought it would be perfect for them to hide in and also uh, as a water dish. So I'm going to be putting this in the back. So the other thing I have here is a little hideout that I made. I cut a plastic cup in half and I put silicone and also rocks on top. And so it's great for them to hide in. And so this is just a giant piece of wood that I glued some extra plants onto because it gives them more coverage. And I'll be putting this as the main statement piece. And again, just another piece of wood because crested geckos really like to climb and so this will provide a solid climbing surface. Now, most of these decorations are actually relatively low because I'll be adding some suction cup plants and that's how I'm going to achieve height. Okay, so listen up. Here's the biggest life hack for if you want to set up anything that has fake plants in it. Don't go to the pet store and buy the very, very overpriced fake plants. Instead, Go to an arts and crafts store. Like a do the dollar store is a great place to get many decorations because these are synthetic flowers. They're literally a dollar each and they work great as climbing surfaces. Another place you can go is somewhere like uh, Michael's. These Michael's will also have fake plants and this is a giant vine thing that I actually cut into three pieces and it was like $10, I think. And so it's very, very worth it to go to an arts and crafts store before you go to a pet store. Now you just have to make sure that this is non-toxic because there are some decorations that might have colorings that aren't safe for your pets. And you also want to make sure that it is um, a smooth surface. You don't want anything with fake texture, something that's fuzzy or furry or sharp. So just double check before you get it, but all of these are perfectly safe. Okay, and so with these flowers, I actually really like them because you can bend them into different shapes and you, so you can offer a new experience every time. <laughs> so I'm gonna bend them into some wider shapes. Same thing for the yellow flowers. And so for this giant vine, I kind of just like to plop it in there because creativity. So another type of plant you can use are actually suction cup plants. Now, again, you can get them at craft stores, but both of these are from pet stores. And I really, really like them because, again, it just gives you more dimension and it offers more places for your crested gecko to climb. Now, the trick with these in order to get them to stay is that you have to wet the suction cup just a little bit. So, okay, now. Now the thing, especially with juvenile crested geckos, is that sometimes they might have trouble finding their food in a larger enclosure. So that's the main reason why they're actually going into the smaller one for now. So in order to let them find their food, I have this. And so essentially this is a leaf bowl that has a suction cup and you can suction cup it to the side of the enclosure. And so this way you can fill up food in here, but it gets kind of sticky and messy. So when I ever put their Pangea in, I actually use a bottle cap. Now, a lot of people will use the plastic ledges that have um, the disposable cups, but right now they're so tiny, they really don't need that much food. So this currently is enough. And again, for the water, I put it on top of the little candle holder. This is just a quick view of how it looks like. 
I'm really glad of the way it turned out because it's very, very clustered and very full. You might think it's too clustered, but the thing with Crested Geckos is that right now they can handle a lot of this because especially since Honeybee is so tiny right now, they'll really enjoy all of the space to climb in. So let's go introduce Honeybee to their new enclosure. Okay, there you go, baby. Boing. Ha <laughs> ha, you're so cute. Bye. Have fun. So I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Honeybee is not going to be staying there. Um, they're actually going back into my animal room, which in the future I plan on doing a tour. But first I have to get it clean because it's as messy as my social life currently. But thank you so much for watching and please share this video with all your friends. Please like and please subscribe. Also comment down below if you guys have a crested gecko and what their current enclosure looks like. So just one more thing I want to say, um, this enclosure, again, it is temporary, it is for a juvenile crested gecko. In the future, they actually have an inverted 29 gallon, which will be very big, and it will be nice. But thank you guys for watching anyway, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye, juvenile!